amid growing concerns about cardiac arrest in young people, one doctor and mom is digging through research to help parents understand the risk. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Tamson Fidel. And I'm Erin E. LeBeau. Now, the conversation was reignited when Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field. Now, the 24-year-old seemed to be in prime health, but parents may be wondering if it could happen to him could it happen to their kids as well? Uh, Dr. Daria Long is an ER doctor. She dove into research on cardiac arrest in young people and joins us now with information that I think a lot of parents would like to hear about. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Hey, Tamsin. Hey, Ernie. Good to see you both. So let's first define what it actually means to go into cardiac arrest. Great question. It's kind of a vague term. So there's just general cardiac arrest, which means your heart stopped for many reason, whether that's from drowning or an overdose or a heart attack. And then there is sudden cardiac arrest, which is what we're talking about today, which is where you had an, some intrinsic problem in your heart actually that caused your heart to go into a really dangerous heart rhythm and to eventually stop beating well enough to get send blood to your brain. Okay, so we'll get to your research in just a moment, but this topic is actually personal for you. Why is that? Yeah, so you ladies, you may know I'm a runner. I've always been really healthy and started having chest pain and palpitations myself, which I blew off for a long time and ended up one day at home alone with my kids in my basement and essentially um, going into kind of a pre-cardiac arrest period in which my heart rate was going at 270. Oh. And I ended up over the next course of a couple of years having to get shocked five times like they saw DeMar Hamlin happen. And I remember so many people thinking, saying to me, like, how could this happen to you? You're so healthy. Mm -hmm, you have young mm -hmm. children. And it's something we have to talk about because sure. this is more common than people realize. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, a lot of people are talking about cardiac arrest after what happened to DeMar Hanleman, uh, 24 years old, pro, uh, pro football athlete. Um, but let's talk about this. Are athletes more at risk for cardiac arrest? I mean, you're saying that, you know, you're, you, you're in very good shape. You are an athlete in many ways. Now, you know, obviously not, uh, you know, that's not <laughs> what you do for a living, but um, but you are very healthy. And so what, what are we looking at? Or can it just randomly happen? Happen. So athletics don't necessarily put you at, it cause you to have sure. one of these heart problems to go into cardiac arrest. And there's so many other benefits to athletics that we don't mm -hmm. tell people not to do that. Sure. But they do, if you already have a problem, athletics are going to give you that extra strain that could trigger you going into cardiac arrest. So actually I spoke to the head of the National Center for Catastro Catastrophic Sports Injury Research. Mm -hmm. And they actually find out if you look at the NCAA, their specific sports and actually basketball in men has the very highest rate of cardiac arrest if you look at athletes. Interesting. All right, so you've done some research on how common it is for young people to go into cardiac arrest. So what did you find for kids from ages 5 to 14 compared to those from 15 to 24? Yeah, so this is something that we don't talk about as a nation enough. And as an ER doctor, this is something that I have to treat. So we're sure. very aware of it, but I realize that the general public isn't. So if you look at just the last 20 years, even like the early 2000s, there are about 250 cardiac arrests per year in kids age 5 to 14. And that leads to about 150 deaths. And then in five, 15 to 24, it's six to 700 sudden cardiac arrests per year and about three to 400 deaths. So this is mm. a real thing. And this is in the United States and it's been over the last 20 years. Well, what are some of the common causes of cardiac arrest in young people, in particular young people? So some of the most common causes are things like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where your heart mm -hmm. just becomes very abnormally enlarged mm -hmm. and like hypertrophy as well. And then there's coronary artery anomalies where your heart, the arteries to your heart just aren't going where they should. So it's not delivering blood. Mm -hmm. And then there's ones that cause arrhythmia. So you have some intrinsic problem in your heart and it's your tops in your heart's like timekeeper that instead of having a regular lub dub, lub dub, your heart rate suddenly jumps to a very, very dangerously high heart rate. Okay, so Dr. Long, are there any ways to actually prevent death from sudden cardiac arrest? Yes, uh, there are things we can be doing. Um, and again, we look at this in athletes, again, looking at the National Center for Catastrophic Sports in in Injury Research, we see about 30 deaths in athletes in middle school to pro every single year. So one of the things to do is if you have a child doing athletics, especially if they're male, mm -hmm. they always do kind of a physical exam and questionnaire. But one thing that their head said we should add is consider adding an EKG or electrocardiogram starting at the age of 12 and every two to three years 
thereafter read by somebody who really knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. Number two, anywhere and anywhere that your child is doing sports and you are doing sports, make sure they have an AED or automated external defibrillator. We saw DeMar Hamlin, he lived because he had mm -hmm. AED use in three to four minutes. It's one of the number one biggest predictors of survival in cardiac arrest. So you cannot wait for the ambulance to get there. Know where it is. And number three is make sure you know how to use it. Anybody watching, you, this is how you save lives in sudden cardiac arrest. Go take a CPR refresher course, know how to use an AED. A lot of my followers really didn't think they could. General lay people, anyone can use an AED. Mm. Dr. Jorgis, um, thank you so much. I was going to ask you that question about how early they start, 12 years old. That, wow. That's young, but it totally makes sense. You've got you've got a real a real baseline there in kids. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks so much for talking with us this afternoon. It's certainly important for parents to hear. Thanks so much. Yeah, good to see you as always. Thank you so much, you both. Well, Have a great like, afternoon. You too. you too. If you'd like to read the full report on a sudden cardiac arrest in young people, head over to truve.com.